So I know you've seen the title of the game, and hello, welcome, Kobolds, by the way. But I, I just want to make sure that you know this isn't a game that is anti-breeding. I know it says please don't litter, but that's that's not what it means. It means, of course, you know, please don't throw out your trash forever. Do not toss out one's trash unto it the streeteth. <laughs> a few years ago, an anomalous object appeared uh one of the cities. He looked like a big timer? Wait, what? He looked like a big timer? Generates tons of garbage because of this. He inhabits a sentence. Okay, every 10 seconds it generates a. Okay, wow, I need to restart this. A few years ago, an anomalous object appeared in one of the cities. He looked like a big timer. Every 10 seconds it generates tons of garbage. Because of this, the inhabitants of the city had to be evacuated. A few months later, the city turned into a dump. In order to not completely litter the whole world, they began to hire garbage collectors. Garbage collectors work almost all day and night and hardly get paid. Oh, sorry, they only work at night. Sorry. <laughs> you are one of the garbage collectors. It sounds, for some reason, this gave me like almost like cyberpunk vibes for some reason. I don't know why. That doesn't probably doesn't make any sense, but it gave me some sort of vibes. That's garbage. That's not garbage. That's a ball. Whoa. Okay, the aesthetic of this though. Uh, excuse me? Whoa. Okay, this is extremely interesting. Um, just the aesthetic, the sounds, everything. That's actually really interesting. Uh, I don't know what... Oh no, it already... <laughs> I already went past the tutorial. Um, wait a second. Oh no. Do I... Oh, it's... You have to hold. Okay, it's hold left click. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to immediately... Can I just put it in here? That oh, that's the wrong kind of trash. Okay, we. I love physics games where you can throw things. Do we collide with them too? We. Oh, that's a lot of garbage. <laughs> wow, but just look at everything. It's this is amazing. I, I'm like super nerding out about this because games that have like a really solid aesthetic and foundation and like know what they are are just amazing to me, honestly. This is really cool. I love this so much. I'm also not entirely sure where to put the garbage. Uh, I think we have to bring it over here. And that's every 10 seconds. That is really interesting. This has an amazing aesthetic. Wow. It looks like there's... Oops. Hold up. Let me just uh, go ahead and... Try. I... I'm not a drunk. I swear I know how to do this. Okay, there's one. I think we need to specifically grab all of the bags of garbage, I suppose. There's even a train that goes past. This is really cool. This is extremely impressive. Um, can I... Oh, okay. We actually kind of, like, tie her out while carrying it almost. Okay. Let me just toss that in there. Oh. <laughs> toss it over. Wow. My throwing arm is so strong. Oh my gosh. I'm just so strong. Like, holy crap. Uh, where's the... Excuse me? Okay, this is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> it's a little unwieldy. Okay, I guess we can just sink it in here, though. Like, for some of these, this probably isn't too hard to just toss in, but for those garbage, <laughs> the garbages are a little more annoying. Maybe this will give us, like, upgrades? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Like, what exactly does this do? Bam! Also, the sensitivity is a little too high, but that's whatever. That's fine. Most of most of the time, most of these games are a little oversensitive. Okay, that's 10 out of 10. And we have... Can we, like, sink it from here? Bam! Oh, I was really close, though. Really close. Is that it? That closer? Yo, did you see that? We just sunk it. Holy moly. Okay, I think we can put it over here, though. Yeah, that's still kind. Good, 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 good. All right, gotta find a couple more bags. Oh, yo, it's a stack of tires. Yo, there's like a tire tower. What is this place? This is fascinating. Still though, it feels, it, I will say, it feels a little odd to have the setting for a place where you're supposed to collect anomalous trash be in a place where there's already anomalous trash. Unless this is like one of the last places we can, like, where like, we're like people are, I don't know, able to gather or congregate maybe? Maybe everything is just so overwhelmingly filled with trash that there's like nothing else. Oh, that's it. I think that's everything. Okay. Uh, time. Oh, um... Oh, it, like, takes time to actually... What? Excuse me? 
What? Hello, I'm doing my job, I swear. I'm doing my job. See, look, I'm doing a great job. See? I put away so much trash. There's so much trash in here. See, look, I collected so many pieces of trash. Oh, it's our trash grabbing robot! Yo! That is really cool! I was almost kind of. I was onto something for this in terms of like cyberpunk vibes. I was I was kind of on something. It's not not quite what I'd call this game, but um, it's got the aesthetic of like a crippled futuristic economy almost. I, I maybe I'm not putting that into great words, but oh, you delivered a person. Is this where babies come from? Hello, my fellow. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh wow, is that actually swivels to us? This is, this game is extremely impressive. <laughs> You must be the garbage collector, right? To help people like you. Do you want to get out of here? Uh, I know how to get out of here. You must fill the container for the drone to return. Then we flew off. <laughs> then we fly away with them. Let me know when you fill the container. What if I don't want a way out? What if I... What if this was my life and I accept that this is how my... This is my circumstances? Then again, maybe what we need to really do is... Take a step out of our comfort zone and face a brave new world. Oh god, what a fudged up book that was. Anyway. <laughs> Did you ever read Brave New World, school kids? Should I have to read this book called Brave New World? I'm sorry, I just, sometimes I'm just like, my brain goes places. You know what? I'm not apologizing. My brain is weird and that's okay. My brain is like a stew of strange things. Oh! Oh, it gives us trash to put away in the trash thing. I've just been being a good citizen. I Technically, we can just, like, stack things over here and then just, like, make it, like, super easy for us to pick up later. I guess. Kind of works. Maybe. Maybe that Maybe that works. Well, heck. Okay. So we're, like... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I might have, uh... I might have broken the game, actually. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. What if we just hit him with trash? Oh, he doesn't mind. He doesn't mind a little bit of trash in his face. Wait, does he actually? Does he not? <laughs> And so I should probably preface, what happens if we put that in there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So, something I probably should have clarified at the start, but this isn't actually technically a horror- uh, This isn't strictly a horror game, but it is something that I wanted to play just because it has this sort of- sort of strange, dark themes associated with it, and it deals with anomalous beings and things of that nature. So it's, um, honestly, this is something I could see being an SCP story. I could absolutely see this being SCP. I did never score a goal. Hold on. Is that what they're called in uh, in basketball? They're called goals, right? Oh, yo, I caught it. Bounced it off the back and still caught it. Okay. We might actually have to, like, shoot it up really high. Or maybe we could cheat. Hold on. <laughs> Watch this. We got skills. We got skills. Don't worry. Bam! We did it. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Well, we do have an escape, but I'm curious. Oh, oh we do have. Oh, <gasps> you can actually put the trash. Okay, that's interesting. You can. Oh, you can't like rotate it back to normal. No, it's upside down. <laughs> We're gonna capture him like a Skyrim NPC. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh no, I wanted to capture him. <laughs> Wait, we've got to be able to do this, right? Come on. I'm like trying to press like jump for some reason. No, <laughs> no. Kind of. Almost. No! Oh, well. We can't do it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we do need more of these anyway, though. We are going to take the self-sacrifice route and... Not go with our new friend here. Buddy old pal. Oh, was that everything? Was that... I thought that was everything. Unless I've already lost the game. I'm sorry for anyone who just lost the game. No, I'm not. Um... Isn't there supposed to be a trap? Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to... Wait! Oh! Okay, well, I guess we didn't really have a choice, did we? <laughs> That's not what I intended to do, but okay. I was thinking that the drone would just come and we'd have the opportunity to stay forever, but maybe not. I, I, you know what I should have done is I should have stacked, like, an absurd amount of <laughs> trash in here. I guess it's time to be free. Hello, friend. You're almost within padding range. Pat, pat, pat. Oh, wow, that took us... That's just taking us... Okay, we're going. Um... This is just weird. 
I'm kind of curious if there's like a bad end, good end kind of thing. Or if... Well... Somewhere in the dump, there is a train on which you can safely leave here. On it, the guards will not notice you. We did see that earlier though, so he's not lying. I know one person who will help you get to him. He lives somewhere in the garbage and loading area. Unfortunately, you will have to go to him alone. I won't be able to go with you. Get ready to jump. I don't know why. Jump. Okay. There. I honestly thought this entire game was going to take place in one area. A lot of these do. This is wild. Okay. Well, we have a new task at hand. Oh, wow. There they are. Those... Those aren't trains, those are garbage trucks. I did kind of almost accidentally nail part of the aesthetic here. This is super interesting. And I love the audio too. This entire game is like just very interesting. Also, I'm not sure if we're supposed to notice this, but the trash is spawning around us specifically. So I'm wondering if humans are also... If maybe it's only spawning around people? Or maybe it's only spawning around us? It, it might just be part of the game mechanic. Oh, uh, throw it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 sure. <gasps> oh! That's... Unusual. Oh, okay. Excuse me? It, it, you, there's a... There's what? There's a boss fight? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hells? Okay, this was extremely unexpected. This is the least expected thing I think I've ever encountered in my life in an indie game. Um, this is actually a little a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit. I think it's trying to abduct us. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, please don't take me, please don't take me trash. Please don't take me trash robot. Oh god. I'm actually not sure if they're robots or not. Maybe it's only maybe it's weak to cubes specifically. That means that the entire first area is a setup for like learning how to like oh god for like learning how to <laughs> do this. That's amazing. I love this so much. Um Alright, well that's them defeated. I think they're autonomous. I mean they've already set up that there are drones in this world. I'm a little bit worried that if we get too close to when they're actually going to come for us. Please don't throw items at this truck. <laughs> Specifically only that one truck. All the other trucks? No, that's fine. That truck? No. No, 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 no. Whee! Uh, hello? Oh, there's no one here. There's- there's are literally no guards. Okay. Unusual. So far, we have not seen a single person. A single other person, though. Oh! Okay, well, as soon as I say that, of course, we- we have a singular other person, but... Oh! Plastics, metals, paper, and glass. I'm glad they're very... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we got a pet duck. You look very happy to be alive. That's great. I'm glad for you. Duck, uh, goose. Duck, duck, goose. It's my new friend. My new friend. Actually, I, I, I hate geese with a fiery burning passion. They're assholes. All of them. Every single one. Hey, I take it you want to get out of this junkyard. There's an abandoned station not too far away. It has no security, so you can safely leave here by train. Problem is, you have to swim across the river to get there. I'll lend you a boat if you help me. Fill the board containers to my left. Put each type of garbage in its own container. Sure, my dude. Is this paper? It looks like a box, but like... <laughs> it's like an assembled box, you know? Yeah, uh, this is metals. I'm kind of curious, what happens if we put things in the wrong container? Can we? Uh, will they even get accepted? Uh, oh wait, this is plastics. Yeah, let's try putting them in the wrong area. Oh, it just doesn't register. Okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> Bam! I kind of want to just, like, whip things in. Hold on, can I do something? I'm curious. Uh, I was hoping I could actually, like... Hey! Okay, well... <laughs> Metal. Aw, uh, no, no! Aw, uh, I've mis- I've miscycled things. Yeah, honestly, this is what I think of you, Goose. I am allergic to geese. Oh no. Yay. All right. Hello, friend old buddy up huh? Oh, thank you very much. You can take the boat. 
Good luck getting out of this dump. My memory is as temporary as a goldfish is. Oh, why is there so much trash here? <gasps> Yo, we got wood? Wait, can we recycle? Excuse me. Can we, like, put the wood in the fire? Oh, here you go. Let me just help you out a little bit before I go. There you go, my dude. I'm curious if it, like, actually gets sunk into here. No, it doesn't actually. Oh, it kind of does. Oh, it just gets deleted. Okay, interesting. I feel like this game is the kind of game that could be filled with a lot of secrets, but, um... Uh, likely it's not really only due to time constraints, but, like... Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Can we, like... Oh, that's a, that's the weirdest boat I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's go on. Let's go. Let's let's progress the story. Progresso espresso. I wonder if we can go back. Probably not. Also, I don't even think it's technically in the lake. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Uh, hello. Uh, okay. Well, this is a. Oh jeez. Oh oh, that's what we needed, right? We're supposed to get on the train. Do any of the doors open? Oh, okay, we just had to click on them. I am curious what there else there was around there. Unfortunately, I didn't really explore, but that's the beauty of these things. You can explore it yourself, because the link is always in the description. Alongside, of course, you know, a like and a comment and a subscribe. This game was made by Ken Forrest in 72 hours for Ludum Dare 51. That is actually extremely impressive. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the more impressive time constraint made games that I, any games that I've seen at all, like ever. <laughs> this was really phenomenal. Um, I'm not entirely, I don't think there was necessarily like some sort of theme they were trying to beat into your head. Um, but I mean, you know, in general, don't litter. <laughs> Come on. Look, every now and then the kobold gets their head stuck in a, you know, in plastic, around plastic, and it's just not a pretty sight. I have to help them out. I gotta, it's, it's, it's just, just a big thing every single time. There might be secrets. I don't really know, but I, I kind of want to see this taken even further, if I'm going to be completely honest. I would, I would love to see a full game based on this concept. It's really, really interesting. Um, and I feel like, again, it's the kind of game that you could absolutely have other things hidden, if there aren't already. <laughs> Or maybe you can get run over the train. I don't know. <laughs> I, I am genuinely curious. It looks like you can kind of get in the way if you keep walking, but I'm not sure if there's an invisible wall or not, so maybe not. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate it, as always, and I hope you all have a great night. Goodbye!